NASA Reveals Major New Discovery on Mars NASA's Perseverance rover is on the hunt for the Goldilocks of rocks to sample on Mars. And one of the key goals of Perseverance's mission is to collect rock samples that will be returned to Earth in a future mission and studied for possible signs of ancient life. But finding the right rock is not always easy. The rover is currently exploring a well-preserved delta located on the western side of Jezero Crater on Mars. Scientists believe that if life ever existed on the Red Planet, this area could harbor ancient biomarkers, or molecular fossils of organic molecules created by living organisms billions of years ago, according to a statement from NASA. So, what has Perseverance found about these suspicious rock samples? Let's find out! Hello everyone, welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about a major discovery made by Perseverance rover on Mars. So, if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. NASA's Perseverance rover is well into its second science campaign, collecting rock core samples from features within an area long considered by scientists to be a top prospect for finding signs of ancient microbial life on Mars. Perseverance is currently investigating the sedimentary rocks, formed when particles of various sizes settled into the once watery environment. During its first science campaign, the rover explored the crater's floor, finding igneous rock, which forms deep underground from magma or during volcanic activity at the surface. So, scientists got a surprise when NASA's Perseverance Mars rover began examining rocks on the floor of Jezero Crater in spring of 2021. Because the crater held a lake billions of years ago, they had expected to find sedimentary rock which would have formed when sand and mud settled in a once-watery environment. Instead, they discovered the floor was made of two types of igneous rock, one that formed deep underground from magma, the other from volcanic activity at the surface. The findings are described in four new papers published Thursday, August 25. In science, one offers an overview of Perseverance's exploration of the crater floor before it arrived at Jezero's ancient river delta in April 2022. A second study in the same journal details distinctive rocks that appear to have formed from a thick body of magma. The other two papers published in Science Advances detail the unique ways that Perseverance's rock vaporizing laser and ground penetrating radar established that igneous rocks cover the crater floor. Now, what is so important about the discovery of these rocks? According to scientists, igneous rocks are excellent timekeepers as crystals within them record details about the precise moment they formed. One great value of the igneous rocks we collected is that they will tell us about when the lake was present in Jezero. We know it was there more recently than the igneous crater floor rocks formed, said Ken Farley of Caltech, Perseverance's project scientist and the lead author of the first of the new science papers. This will answer some major questions. When was Mars's climate conducive to lakes and rivers on the planet's surface? And when did it change to the very cold and dry conditions we see today? However, because of how it forms, Igneous rock isn't ideal for preserving the potential signs of ancient microscopic life Perseverance is searching for. In contrast, determining the age of sedimentary rock can be challenging, particularly when it contains rock fragments that formed at different times before the rock sediment was deposited. But sedimentary rock often forms in watery environments suitable for life and is better at preserving ancient signs of life. That's why the sediment-rich river delta Perseverance has been exploring since April 2022 has been so tantalizing to scientists. The rover has begun drilling and collecting core samples of sedimentary rocks there so that the Mars sample return campaign could potentially return them to Earth to be studied by powerful lab equipment too large to bring to Mars. Apart from this, a second paper published in Science solves a long-standing mystery on Mars. Years ago, Mars orbiters spotted a rock formation filled with the mineral olivine. Measuring roughly 27,000 square miles, nearly the size of South Carolina, this formation extends from the inside edge of Jezero Crater into the surrounding region. Scientists have offered various theories why olivine is so plentiful over such a large area of the surface, 
including meteorite impacts, volcanic eruptions, and sedimentary processes. Another theory is that the olivine formed deep underground from slowly cooling magma, molten rock, before being exposed over time by erosion. Yang Liu of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California and her co-authors have determined that last explanation is the most likely. To find evidence, Perseverance abraded a rock to reveal its composition. Studying the exposed patch, the scientists homed in on the olivine's large grain size, along with the rock's chemistry and texture. Therefore, using Perseverance's Planetary Instrument for X-ray Lithochemistry, or PIXL, they determined the olivine grains in the measure of 1 to 3 millimeters, much larger than would be expected for olivine that formed in rapidly cooling lava at the planet's surface. This large crystal size and its uniform composition in a specific rock texture require a very slow cooling environment, Liu said. So, most likely this magma in Jezero wasn't erupting on the surface. Now we can clearly see the importance of studying rocks on Mars. But there is another essential aspect of this study, according to which, when assessing which areas to sample, Perseverance also has to account for the shape and angle of rocks, which can make drilling difficult or even impossible for the rover. Perseverance ran into this issue when attempting to sample what scientists nicknamed Betty's Rock, a layered rock located near the bottom of the delta and composed of alternating coarse-grained and fine-grained materials. Unfortunately, the rover was unable to safely maneuver the jagged layers and awkward shapes of this rock. Instead, Perseverance found an alternative sampling subject called Skinner Ridge Rock, which is a low-lying rock that looks very similar to Betty's Rock, but appears more manageable for coring. Skinner Ridge Rock is now the rover's next target after a dry spell for sampling. We plan to bump the rover over to this target, study its composition, and hopefully collect a sample, according to the NASA statement. This process will take several souls, days on Mars, to complete, but we have our fingers crossed for success. So what unique tools does Perseverance have to carry out this task successfully? The two Science Advances papers detail the findings of science instruments that helped establish that igneous rocks cover the crater floor. The instruments include Perseverance's SuperCam laser, and a ground-penetrating radar called RIMFAX. SuperCam is equipped with rock vaporizing laser that can zap a target as small as a pencil tip from up to 20 feet away. It studies the resulting vapor using a visible light spectrometer to determine a rock's chemical composition. SuperCam zapped 1,450 points during Perseverance's first 10 months on Mars, helping scientists arrive at their conclusion about igneous rocks on the crater floor. In addition, SuperCam used near-infrared light – it's the first instrument on Mars with that capability – to find that water altered minerals in the crater floor rocks. However, the alterations weren't pervasive throughout the crater floor, according to the combination of laser and infrared observations. SuperCam's data suggests that either these rock layers were isolated from Jezero's lake water or that the lake existed for a limited duration, said Roger Wines, SuperCam's principal investigator at Purdue University and Los Alamos National Laboratory. Apart from this, RIMFAX marks another first. Mars orbiters carry ground-penetrating radars, but no spacecraft on the surface of Mars have before Perseverance. Being on the surface, RIMFAX can provide unparalleled detail and surveyed the crater floor as deep as 50 feet. In high resolutions, radargrams show rock layers unexpectedly inclined up to 15 degrees underground. Understanding how these rock layers are ordered can help scientists build a timeline of Jezero Crater's formation. As the first such instrument to operate on the surface of Mars, RIMFAX has demonstrated the potential value of a ground-penetrating radar as a tool for subsurface exploration said Sven Erik Harman, RIMFAX's principal investigator at the University of Oslo in Norway. So, the science team is excited by what they've found so far, but they're even more excited about the science that lies ahead. Now, what is the future of this mission? From the start, the key objective for Perseverance's mission on Mars is astrobiology, including the search for signs of ancient microbial life. Keeping this in view, the rover will characterize the planet's geology and past climate, 
pave the way for human exploration of the Red Planet and be the first mission to collect and cache Martian rock and regolith. Therefore, subsequent NASA missions in cooperation with ESA would send spacecraft to Mars to collect these sealed samples from the surface and return them to Earth for in-depth analysis. Once these samples are analyzed back here on Earth, it will mark an era of new discovery of the outer space. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.